Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin which will help you create different layouts for the product reviews and ratings. If you are creating a product reviews and ratings website, then you can try using this free plugin. Using this plugin, you can add the product reviews and rating system on your WordPress website. Let me show you an example. Here I have created one product with the rating system. You will see the product here. At the top, we have the total score. Then we have title. This is a buy now button. If you are adding affiliate product, then you can add your affiliate link here. This is the rating of the product. One user has rated this product five out of five. So you can also let people rate this product on your WordPress website. Then these are the rating bars where you can add the ratings for the product. Then we have pros and cons and some information about this product. If I go to the second product, you will see different layout for this product. Again, you have the total rating, affiliate link, product title, description, rating bar, pros and cons. Then here we have another layout. In this layout, I can add product gallery also with different images. Then product rating, rating bar, some information, pros and cons, and the image. If you have multiple products and if you want to compare the products, then you can use cross rating. Here we have rating system for three different products in the same category. So you can create cross ratings and show them on your website. However, some features are not available in the free plugin. You need to go for the premium version. Below that, we have some blocks that you can use. If you are creating a blog post for a product, then you can use these blocks. These blocks are included in the plugin. You will see pros and cons, then review box. The name of the plugin is Ultimate Editorial Rating. This plugin has free as well as premium version. I'm going to start with the free plugin. I'll show you how you can install the plugin. And the premium version will cost you $39.99 per year for a single website. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use my link. I'll also give you a 30% discount coupon code in the description box. So let's see how we can install the free editorial rating plugin. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and now I'm going to install a free plugin. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. And here search for ultimate editorial rating so this is the plugin ultimate editorial rating best product review plugin with star rating system it also supports woocommerce website so click on install now and click on activate all right so the plugin is installed and it is activated in the left hand panel you will see the option editorial rating let's go to settings here we are on the global settings enable schema globally Make sure that it is enabled so that you can use the schema markup to enhance the search engine visibility of your product. Editor rating by product. This option is available only for the pro plugin. Then we have enable the widgets globally. Show the reset button in meta box and editorial rating in products. This is again for the pro version. Blocks, these blocks are available. If you want to use these blocks on the post, you can use these blocks. These blocks will be added to your Gutenberg system. I'll show you how does this work. Some of them are only for the pro version. Then we have backup, editorial rating, import export system. License, if you buy the premium version, you can enter the license key here. Then we have version control. If you want to roll back to older version, you can select the older version from here. So these are the basic settings of this plugin. Now let's go to the section here, all reviews. Click on it. Now currently we do not have any review. So we are going to create a new review. At the top you will see add new review. Click on it. At the top you can add a section title. That will be the title of your product that you want to review. So let me add the title here. So this is going to be title of the product. And here you will see theme selection is nothing but the layout that you want to select. In the free version, you will get one layout. If you go to second layout, you will see that it is available only for the pro version. And the other layouts are also available for the pro version only. So for the free version, there is only one layout available, which also looks very good. So I have selected this layout. 
the maximum width of the section will be 900 pixel if you want to change it you can change it if you want to make it 100 percent you can also make it 100 percent so it will cover the width of the entire page where you want to show this product rating title or the product name select an editorial rating title for this post okay so a product review summary including key information all right so as of now i'm going to leave it as it is overview or bottom line here i'm going to add some description about this product let's delete this one and add a new content here you can add product image i'm going to delete this one and i'm going to upload i have already uploaded the image so i'm going to select that image so this is the product image show or hide updated date so if you want to show or hide the updated date when you have updated this product information that date will be shown if you do not want to show that date you can simply hide the date i'm going to enable it a date label will be like this last updated and after that it will show the date if you want to add custom date you can also add custom date below that we have show or hide editorial rating bar so it is going to show some rating bar you will see it here in this example these are the rating bars then we have pros cons and this is the bottom line this information here is going to be here at the bottom line right so let's go to the editorial rating bar and here you will see some options you can add the rating title here so the first title will be zoom capabilities and here you can add the number that you want to assign for this product so it will be like 9 out of 10 points for zoom capabilities of this product second will be changeable lenses let's change it to 8 i'm just giving you some examples here autofocus system is also let's say 9 then we have advanced feature let's make it 8 high quality photos let's make it 10 so i have added some rating bars here if you want to add more you can add more and you can assign points for each bar rating progress bar animation if you do not want to show the animation you can simply disable it below that we have pros and cons show or hide pros and cons if you do not want to show pros and cons like here then you can disable it or you can enable it All right for the pros let's say i'm going to name it as pros and here you can add the pros of this product right so you will see the pros let's add cons you can also name it as advantages and disadvantages i have added two disadvantages below that we have show or hide product button let's consider that you are creating a reviews website for amazon products and you want to add the amazon affiliate links for each product then you can enable this option and text for the button will be buy now and here you can add your amazon affiliate link when someone clicks on it it will go to your affiliate link for the amazon product you can open it in a new tab and you can add no follow tag to the link product name is linked yes if you want that product name to be linked with this affiliate link you can enable this one and if you enable this option the image of the product will also be linked to this affiliate link so if someone clicks on the image it will go to your amazon affiliate link below that we have show or hide user rating that is only available for the pro version right so this is the information that we have added for this product in the left hand panel you can create a new category i have already created one category that is camera so i have selected this one if you have another type of product you can simply click on add new category and create a new category there right once done you can click on publish and this product is ready to be shown on the page right you will see a short code here so click on copy short code and copy the short code now let's go to the post and i'm going to create a new post here now it depends on your product if you are creating a post for a product you can add this short code inside the post content and it will show the rating system on the post here in this example i am going to create a new post and click on the plus sign here and look for short code if you are using gutenberg you will see short code option let's enter the short code and publish it if you already have an existing post you can add the short code on the existing post click on a view post 
and you can see that this product is added on the blog post total score of this product is 8.8 .8. this is the title buy now button and these are the rating bars that we have added pros and cons and the bottom line is also there here you will see that zero out of five based on zero users so the user has not yet reviewed this product so it shows zero out of five if i click on buy now it will open the amazon affiliate link in the new tab the image is also linked with the affiliate link now here at the bottom you will see it thank you for taking part in our survey as of now i'm logged in as admin so i can click on it and you will see that one user has rated this product and if i refresh it you will see five out of five based on one user all right so this is the first layout that we have created for this product now i'm going to install the premium version of the plugin i do have the premium version and i'll show you how the other layouts will look and i'm going to add another product so that we can also see how we can use the cross ratings all right so let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin i have already downloaded the plugin so i'm going to upload the plugin and click on install now if you want to buy this plugin i'll give you the link in the description box the plugin is installed i'm going to activate the pro version so when you buy the plugin you will get the license key you will need to enter the license key so that the pro version will be activated i have already used the license key so it shows that it is active so let's go to all reviews here and let's click on add new review i'm going to add another review and i'm going to use different layout for this new review the name will be nikon z50 and i'm going to use second layout for this one the maximum width will be 900 pixel and here i'm going to change the product title or name now here let's add some information for this product i'm going to upload image and i'm going to keep the other information as it is again for the rating bar i'm going to use the same rating system let's add pros and cons this time i'm going to name it as advantages All right this is the link you can change the link now here at the bottom you will see show or hide user rating if you do not want to show the user rating you can simply disable it from here okay and i'm going to select the category here and click on publish let's copy the short code and i'm going to use the short code on the same page here on the same blog post here search for the short code add the new short code here let's add some spacing also update it refresh it so this is the first product and this is the second product you will see that the layout of the second product is completely different we have the title here then this is the total rating buy now button image rating bar pros and cons so this is a new layout let's go back and create another product here this will be third product let's select another layout all right let's select this one this one has a product gallery so we will select this one and uh, for the maximum width i'm going to keep it as it is the rest of the information i'm going to keep it as it is i'm not going to make any changes here let's upload a new image here and here you will see an option to add product gallery so i'm going to add some images so I'm going to select the same images here. You can add different variations of this image. All right, so this is going to be the product gallery. Then we have date label, then we have pros and cons. I'm going to use the same pros and cons here. I'm going to use the same rating bar here. All right, in the previous example, we disabled this user rating. So you will see that there is no option for the user rating for this layout. So I'm going to keep it as it is enabled. Let's go to categories, select the category and click on publish. Copy the short code. Let's go to the post, add some spacing here. Click on short code and let's add new short code here. Update it. 
the Suri Freshit. And you will see the new layout here for the third product. This is the rating. Then we have image. And this is the gallery of images for this product. So you can add multiple images for the product. And this is the rating bar. This is the product title, some information, buy now button, total rating system. Now, if you go here, you will see the color combination. If you want to change the color, you can also change the color. For example, here we have the rating bar color. If you want to change that rating bar color, you can simply select any color that you want. According to your website requirement, you can change the color combination. All right, so we have got three different layouts here. Now let's go back and go to cross ratings. I'll show you how to use the cross ratings. I'm going to create a new cross rating here. And let's name it as camera comparison. And here you need to select the category. I have created only one category that is camera. So I have selected that one. Theme, you will see different themes are there. The, these are the layouts that you can use. This is the first one. This is the second one. Third one, fourth one. This one also looks good. So let's try this one. And we have show total ratings is up to 10. Select the number of total rating items. Show or hide the title section, the product image. If you do not want to show the product image, you can hide that one. This is for the comparison. And this is the brand color. So I'm going to change this brand color. Let's make it darker one. All right, and click on publish. Copy the short code. Let's go back to the post, add some spacing here and then add a new short code. This is for the comparison or the cross rating. Let's go back to the page, refresh it. And you will see a cross rating here. So this is a kind of comparison that you can show on the page. Let's change the layout. Let's use the first layout updated. Let's go back, refresh it, and you will see a new layout. Title is camera comparison. You will see the details of the first product, then second product, and then third product. Let's try another layout here. Update it. Let's refresh it. And you will see new layout is there. So if I move the cursor, you will see the information of that product and you can customize these options from here this is the grid layout you can also use carousal right now let me show you some blocks that you can use on the actual blog post let's add some spacing here i'm on the blog post click on the plus sign and here you can search for the blocks that you can use on the actual blog post if you are creating a blog post for product rating system you can use these blocks to show the pros and cons and the rating I'm going to search for rating and you will see some blocks are there a review info box let's try this one and you will see this box that you can use here you simply need to click on this title and you can update the title you can also update the content images the title again so this is a block that is added here and you can use it let's try pros and cons you will see pros and cons then we have review summary you will see it here so if you want, you can add these blocks on your blog post and edit them or customize them according to your requirement. So if you are creating reviews and ratings website, you can try using this free plugin. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.